Lily Chen's first steps onto the planet Xanthi felt like walking into a scene from one of the classic science fiction films she had grown up watching. The air was crisp with a tinge of ozone, and the sprawling complex of the Galactic Council headquarters towered above, its walls shimmering with a translucent, pearl-like sheen that reflected the planet's three suns in a dazzling display of colors. Every few steps, she encountered beings from different corners of the galaxy, some with iridescent scales, others with clouds of gas encased in floating suits, all conversing in a myriad of languages that her translator chip melodiously rendered into English. As she walked through the grand corridors, her escort, a polite but reserved Xanthian named Terevu, explained the protocols of the Council. Each species has a designated section in the Council Hall, arranged in order of their entry into the Council. Humans, being relatively new, are closer to the outer ring, Terevu noted, gesturing towards the vast circular chamber visible through an open archway. The chamber itself was a marvel of alien engineering, designed to accommodate the physical and atmospheric needs of its varied members. Sections of the room subtly changed in temperature, gravity, and air composition, seamlessly adapting to each species' home environment. Above, a holographic dome displayed a live map of the galaxy, with active trade routes and political boundaries constantly updating in real time. As they approached the human section, Lily noticed the seats were simpler and less ornate compared to the inner circles, a reminder of humanity's fledgling status among these ancient civilizations. Her heart swelled with a mix of pride and nervousness. Here she was, representing not just her planet, but her entire species, tasked with navigating the intricate dance of interstellar diplomacy. Turavu, sensing her awe and apprehension, offered a word of encouragement. Every member of this council started where you are now. What matters is not just the power one wields, but the ideas they bring to the table. The council respects those who contribute. Lily nodded, taking a deep breath as she settled into her seat, the weight of her responsibilities settling in. Her first day at the Galactic Council was about to begin, and the eyes of Earth were all on her, waiting to see how a human would fare in this grand assembly of the galaxy's most powerful leaders. As she looked around at the gathering of diverse intelligences, Lily felt a spark of excitement. This was her chance to make a difference, to show the galaxy what humans were capable of. As the session of the Galactic Council commenced, the hum of conversation settled into a respectful silence. The president of the council, a dignified figure from the advanced Axiari species, tapped a crystal gavel that emitted a soothing tone, instantly capturing the attention of all present. Esteemed members, we convene today amidst a revelation that could reshape our understanding of the galaxy, the president began, her voice echoing subtly through the chamber. A team of archaeologists from the Zilfrax cluster had discovered an artifact on a long-abandoned moon, believed to be a legacy of the Krylorn Empire, an ancient civilization known for its technological prowess and mysterious demise. The artifact was brought into the council chamber, hovering in a stasis field at the center of the room. It was a large metallic cube, its surfaces etched with intricate patterns and symbols that pulsed with a faint, otherworldly light. The artifact contains a message in a code that predates any known civilization currently active in the council, the president continued, her eyes scanning the representatives. It is believed that deciphering this message could lead us to a cache of technology and knowledge lost to time. A murmur of excitement and skepticism passed through the chamber. The implications were immense. Such technology could advance civilizations by centuries or become a weapon of unimaginable power, depending on whose hands it fell into. The Council called upon Jorvex, a representative of the Valorians, known across the galaxy for their intellectual might and cryptographic skills. Jorvex, a tall, thin being with skin that shimmered like liquid metal, approached the artifact with a confident stride. With the permission of this council, I will attempt to decode the message, he announced, his voice modulated and precise. The Valorian placed his hands on the surface of the cube, and the symbols began to glow more intensely. Hours passed as Jorvex worked, his brow furrowed in concentration, while the council watched in rapt attention. Finally, he stepped back, his posture one of uncharacteristic dejection. I regret to inform the Council that the code is beyond my ability to decipher. It is unlike any linguistic pattern or cryptographic method known to us. A wave of disappointment swept through the chamber, followed quickly by whispers and side conversations. The failure to decode the message not only kept the secrets of the artifact locked away, but also raised concerns about potential threats hidden within the ancient technology. Seeing an opportunity, Lily raised her hand, her voice steady as she addressed the President. If I may, President, I propose that a human approach be attempted. Our experience with diverse languages and cryptographic methods might offer a fresh perspective. 
The president considered her for a moment, then nodded in assent. Very well, Representative Chen. The council will adjourn for today and reconvene tomorrow. You will have until then to work on the message. As the members filed out of the chamber, Lily approached the artifact, her mind racing with possibilities. This was her moment to prove that humans had something unique and valuable to offer, not just to the council, but to the galaxy at large. The task was daunting, but Lily felt a surge of determination. This riddle, ancient and complex, was exactly the kind of challenge that had driven humanity to explore the stars. The chamber was empty now, save for Lily and the hovering artifact in its stasis field. The remaining council members had dispersed, likely to debate the day's surprising turn of events or to prepare for the possibilities that might unfold from this ancient riddle. Turavu lingered for a moment, giving Lily an encouraging nod before exiting, leaving her alone with the enigmatic cube. Lily approached the artifact, her eyes tracing the intricate patterns etched into its surface. She reached out, her fingertips hovering inches from the cool, pulsating metal, respectful of the powerful energy contained within. Drawing from her training in linguistics and her experience with human cryptographic puzzles, Lily began her examination by trying to understand the structure of the symbols themselves. The symbols weren't just marks, they were layered, each one potentially representing multiple layers of meaning depending on their context, a concept not unfamiliar to human languages where intonations and cultural nuances could alter meanings dramatically. Lily took notes, sketching the symbols in her digital pad, grouping them according to their recurring structures. As she worked, she utilized a technique often overlooked by purely logical minds like that of the Valorians, the application of cultural and historical context. Lily considered not just the form and frequency of the symbols, but also what the ancient Krylorn might have valued or feared, their myths, their environment, even their downfall. What message would a civilization facing extinction choose to preserve? Hours passed as Lily delved deeper into her task. She referenced databases of ancient human languages, finding parallels in Egyptian hieroglyphs and Sumerian cuneiform where symbols served multiple functions, phonetic, symbolic, and ideographic. She hypothesized that the Krylorn, facing a galaxy-wide disaster or perhaps a monumental discovery, might have used a similar approach to encapsulate their message. Slowly, patterns began to emerge in the chaos of the alien script. Certain symbols repeated more frequently near what she hypothesized were section dividers, a potential clue to their significance. Others appeared only in what could be the beginning or end of sentences, possibly as grammatical markers. By applying a comparative analysis with human linguistic structures, Lily began to construct a rudimentary key to the Krylorn language. As the night deepened into the early hours of the morning, Lily's excitement grew. She was beginning to crack the code piece by piece, her human intuition and broad approach to language filling in the gaps left by the purely logical methods of her predecessors. This was more than just academic or cryptographic exercise. It was a puzzle that connected her across millennia to another race's hopes, fears, and perhaps even their last desperate message to the galaxy. Feeling a mix of exhilaration and exhaustion, Lily prepared her findings to present to the Council. If her theory was correct, she might not only unlock the secrets of the Krylorn technology, but also prove the unique value of human perspective in the Galactic Council. She uploaded her preliminary decryption to her device, ready to refine it further with any feedback the artifact might still offer, determined to bring a voice back to a long-silent civilization. When the Galactic Council reconvened the next morning, the air was charged with a mix of anticipation and skepticism. Representatives from dozens of star systems filled their seats, murmuring among themselves about the human representative's bold claim. Could a newcomer really succeed where the esteemed Valorian had failed? Lily took her place at the central podium, facing the assembled council. Her device was connected to the main display, ready to project her findings. She felt a moment of nervousness, realizing the weight of what was about to happen, not just for her career, but for the reputation of all humanity in the eyes of the galaxy. Esteemed members of the council, Lily began, her voice calm but carrying clearly through the chamber. I thank you for this opportunity to share the fruits of a uniquely human approach to the Krylorn artifact's decryption. She paused, ensuring she had their full attention. What I present to you today is not just the result of cryptographic analysis, but an integration of linguistic patterns, cultural insights, and a holistic perspective that is inherently human. With a gesture, Lily activated the display. The intricate patterns of the artifact's code filled the screen, alongside diagrams of her linguistic analysis. Our approach began with the recognition of recurring structural patterns, 
much like those found in ancient human languages where symbols carry multiple layers of meaning based on their contextual use. She pointed to several highlighted sections on the display. Here, we identified what appears to be a grammatical framework, similar to verb conjugations and object markers in Proto-Indo-European languages on Earth. By applying this framework, we were able to begin translating segments of the text. The room was silent, the representatives absorbing every word. Lily switched to another slide showing a partially decoded message. The text appears to relate to a directive or a warning. It speaks of a gateway and a guardian, and the necessity of balance and vigilance. While the full meaning is still becoming clear, it is evident that this message was deemed significant enough to encode for posterity. Some members of the council looked intrigued, others clearly skeptical. Jorvex, the Valorian who had failed at the task, watched with an inscrutable expression. It was one thing to propose a methodology, it was another to prove its effectiveness. Lily continued, To verify our translations, we cross-referenced these symbols with other known Krylorn artifacts and ruins spread across the galaxy. This triangulation approach has allowed us to refine our decryption, increasing our confidence in the accuracy of our interpretation. The president of the council, the Axiari, finally spoke. Representative Chen, your work is commendable. However, we must ask, how can we be certain that your interpretation is correct? The implications of this message could be profound. Lily nodded, expecting this challenge. We propose a trial validation. Using the coordinates and instructions derived from our decryption, we can send a probe to the specified location. If my interpretation is correct, we will find evidence supporting the existence of the gateway mentioned in the text. The council murmured in agreement, and a vote was quickly called. The decision was made. Lily's approach would be put to the test. As the council adjourned, Lily felt a mix of relief and tension. Her theories were promising, but the real test lay ahead. If she was right, she would not only have cracked one of the most challenging codes in galactic history, but also established a new role for humanity in the cosmic community. The next steps would be crucial, and the entire galaxy would be watching. The following days were a flurry of activity as preparations for the probe's deployment moved forward. Under the watchful eyes of the Galactic Council and the collaborative effort of several advanced technological species, a state-of-the-art probe was outfitted with the necessary tools and sensors to undertake its mission. The coordinates Lily had deciphered were to a seemingly unremarkable sector of space, previously unexplored due to its distance and lack of significant astral phenomena. Lily worked closely with the technical teams, her decryption always at the forefront, guiding the mission's objectives. Her involvement went beyond simple oversight. She was deeply engaged in programming the probe's AI with instructions on what to look for, ensuring that every possibility her translation suggested was covered. As the launch day arrived, the tension was palpable. The council chamber was converted into a temporary mission control, allowing members to observe the probe's journey in real time. Lily stood among the Council's top scientists and engineers, her focus entirely on the data screens as the probe hurtled through space. The journey took several hours, but with the advanced propulsion technologies at their disposal, the probe reached the specified coordinates faster than anyone from Earth would have anticipated. The main display in the Council chamber showed the probe's approach to a seemingly empty region of space. Doubt began to murmur among the spectators. Had the human's translation been a wild goose chase? Then the probe's sensors detected an anomaly. The space around the coordinates was distorting, bending light and gravity in subtle but unnatural ways. The probe relayed back images of what appeared to be a cloaked structure, massive in scale, hidden from normal sight and sensors, an artificial construct of some kind. Excitement replaced doubt as the images were processed and displayed. Lily pointed out the features that matched descriptions from the decrypted message. The structure was indeed a gateway, just as the ancient text had described. It was a monumental find, proving that the Krylorn had mastered technologies that could manipulate space itself, perhaps a stargate or a dimensional bridge. The president of the council called for order as discussions erupted around the room. Representative Chen, she said, her voice cutting through the noise. It appears your translation was not only accurate, but has led us to one of the most significant discoveries in recent council history. Lily nodded, her heart swelling with pride not just for herself, but for what this meant for humanity. Thank you, President. There is much we still need to learn about this structure and its purpose. But I believe this is a testament to the value of different perspectives and approaches. The human method, which integrates cultural and historical context, has proven its worth. The Council agreed, and plans were quickly made to explore the gateway further. Teams of scientists from various species were formed, and a new expedition was planned. Lily was invited to join the expedition as a key member, 
her role no longer just as a translator but as a pioneer in a new frontier of galactic exploration and cooperation. As the council session adjourned, Lily felt a profound sense of accomplishment and anticipation. The gateway was not just a doorway to new worlds, but a symbol of what humanity could contribute to the galaxy. Her success had indeed opened a new chapter for human involvement in the Galactic Council, one that promised greater integration, respect, and mutual curiosity among the stars. With the discovery of the Gateway, the Galactic Council was abuzz with plans and preparations for the upcoming expedition. As a key member of the team, Lily found herself at the center of intense training sessions and strategic meetings. The Council had decided to send a multinational, multi-species task force to investigate the Gateway, and Lily was to be part of the initial contact team due to her unique understanding of the Krylorn message. The weeks leading up to the expedition were filled with simulations, briefings on potential environmental hazards, and cross-cultural workshops to ensure smooth cooperation among the diverse team members. The gateway had been stable since its discovery, but no one knew what might be found on the other side, or even if it led to another side at all. The possibilities ranged from new realms and dimensions to powerful technologies, or even potential traps left by the Krylorn. On the eve of the expedition, the team gathered in the council chamber for one last briefing. The president of the council addressed them, her tone solemn but optimistic. This gateway, she began, represents not just a pathway to unknown places, but also a bridge between our worlds and cultures. You are stepping into the unknown, and what you find could redefine our understanding of the universe. Lily felt the weight of her words. She had gone from decoding ancient texts to standing on the precipice of new worlds, a testament to the unpredictability of her role as a council representative. The next morning, the team set out. The gateway loomed before them, a colossal arch pulsing with a soft light indicating it was active. The scientists deployed various instruments confirming that the structure was stable and safe for traversal. With a collective breath, the team activated their environmental suits and stepped through the gateway, Instantly, they were transported to another location, seemingly another world. The environment was starkly different. Vast plains under a sky lit by two suns, with no immediate signs of technology or life. The team set up a base camp near the Gateway's counterpart on this side, which appeared identical to the one they had just left. Lily's role became crucial as they explored the surrounding area. She led a subgroup tasked with deciphering any signs or symbols they found, using her expertise to guide them. It wasn't long before they came across ruins, evidently Krylorn in origin, scattered with similar writings to those on the artifact. Lily's translations helped them navigate the area and understand the historical context of the site. The ruins revealed that this world had been a major hub for the Krylorn, possibly even their homeworld. As they delved deeper into the crumbling structures, they discovered data archives, intact but dormant. Lily worked alongside alien engineers to access the archives, her hands trembling as she initiated the interface. The data was a treasure trove, filled with records of the Krylorn's history, technology, and their reasons for constructing the gateways. It became clear that the Krylorn had built an interstellar network, connecting multiple worlds across vast distances for trade, exploration, and perhaps escape from some galactic threat. As the day turned to night, the team gathered around their camp, processing the day's discoveries. The mood was one of exhilaration mixed with a deep sense of responsibility. They were not just explorers, but also guardians of this knowledge now. Lily, gazing up at the twin sun setting on the horizon, felt a profound connection to the Krylorn, whose work they were continuing. She knew that the days ahead would bring more challenges, but also unimaginable opportunities. This was just the beginning, and the role of humans in the Galactic Council was forever altered, now seen not just as newcomers, but as crucial contributors to the shared history of the galaxy. The discovery of the Krylorn archives dramatically shifted the focus of the expedition. As the team delved deeper into the ancient data, they realized they had uncovered not just remnants of a lost civilization, but potentially game-changing technology that could alter the dynamics of power throughout the galaxy. Lily played a central role, as her ability to decipher Krylorn language and symbols provided the keys to unlocking the advanced concepts contained within the archives. The data revealed detailed schematics of the gateway technology, including how to construct and control these devices. The implications were staggering. Suddenly, distant galaxies could be within reach, and the isolation of many worlds could end. However, with great power came great responsibility, and the Council had to decide how to manage and share this newfound knowledge. Debates ensued, reflecting the diverse perspectives and interests within the Council. 
Some members argued for the immediate dissemination of the technology, eager to boost their own world's fortunes and influence. Others urged caution, fearful of the potential for misuse or the risks of altering the balance of power too quickly. Amidst these tensions, Lily advocated for a balanced approach. She proposed the establishment of a new interstellar body, governed by the Council that would oversee the use of gateway technology, ensuring it was used ethically and that all civilizations had equal access. Her voice, once that of an outsider, now carried weight, and her unique position as the translator of the Krylorn legacy granted her a level of respect and authority she had not possessed before. As the Council considered her proposal, Lily and the team continued their exploration of the Krylorn world. They uncovered more about the civilization's downfall, which appeared to be linked to a catastrophic misuse of the very technologies they had mastered. This somber lesson from the past underscored the need for careful stewardship of their technologies. The decision was eventually reached. The Council voted overwhelmingly to create the Interstellar Gateway Authority, IGA, with a mandate to control the construction and use of gateways, facilitate cooperation across species, and prevent the concentration of power that could lead to conflict. Lily was appointed as one of the human representatives to the IGA, a testament to her contributions and the trust she had earned. As the expedition prepared to return through the gateway, Lily felt a mix of satisfaction and awe. They were bringing back not just knowledge and technology, but also a new set of principles for interstellar cooperation. The journey back was filled with discussions on the future, on the integration of Krylorn technology into current systems, and on the protocols that would need to be established. Lily's final report to the Council, delivered upon their return, was met with applause and acclaim. She spoke not just of the technical and historical findings, but of the broader implications for galactic unity and the potential for a future where distances were no longer barriers. The Krylorn left us a legacy of incredible technology and a warning of its dangers, Lily concluded. It is our duty to remember both as we step forward into this new era. Her words resonated throughout the Council, and as she stepped down from the podium, it was clear that the role of humanity in the Council was forever changed. From observers and learners, humans were now leaders and integrators in the galactic community, bridging species and stars with their unique talents and perspectives. The return to Earth was a momentous occasion. News of the successful expedition and the groundbreaking discoveries made at the Krylorn Gateway had spread throughout human territories, sparking celebrations and a renewed sense of pride in humanity's place within the Galactic Council. Lily Chen, once a diplomatic envoy, had become a symbol of human potential and ingenuity. As she prepared for her new role within the Interstellar Gateway Authority, IGA, Lily reflected on the journey that had brought her here. From deciphering an ancient alien riddle to advocating for responsible governance of some of the galaxy's most powerful technologies, her career had taken a path she could hardly have imagined when she first stepped into the council chambers on Xanthi. In her new capacity, Lily worked tirelessly to establish the frameworks and protocols that would govern the use of gateway technology. The IGA, composed of representatives from various member species of the Council, was a microcosm of the galaxy itself, with all its complexities and divergences. Yet under Lily's guidance, the focus remained clear. Ensure that gateway technology was used for the betterment of all, preventing the darker aspects of the Krylorn legacy from repeating. Her efforts were instrumental in drafting the Gateway Accords, a comprehensive treaty outlining the ethical use, technological sharing, and cooperative exploration mandates associated with gateway operations. The Accords were celebrated as a cornerstone of galactic diplomacy and cooperation, marking a new chapter in interstellar relations. Meanwhile, back on Earth and other human colonies, the implications of the gateway technology were profound. New opportunities for trade, exploration, and cultural exchange were blossoming. Human scientists and engineers, working alongside alien experts, were rapidly advancing their understanding of not just technology, but also of the greater cosmos. Lily often found herself at conferences and symposiums, speaking not only about the technical aspects of the gateways, but also about the broader philosophical and ethical considerations. Her talks would delve into the responsibilities of advanced civilizations and the potential futures they could forge together. One such conference on Earth, held under the newly constructed replica of the Krylorn Gateway, served as a ceremonial platform for the official activation of the first human-built gateway. The event was attended by dignitaries and representatives from dozens of worlds, each eager to witness this new era of human contribution to the galaxy. As Lily addressed the crowd, her words underscored the transformative impact of the discovery. Today, we stand not just on the brink of a new world, or even a new galaxy, 
but a new understanding of cooperation and peace. The gateways are not just passages through space, but bridges between hearts and minds. With the ceremonial activation, the first human-constructed gateway hummed to life, its arch glowing with the same soft light that had first welcomed the expedition team on the Krylorn world. Cheers erupted from the assembly, a shared celebration of achievement and anticipation. As night fell, the gateway framed against the starlit sky served as a poignant reminder of how far humanity had come and the infinite paths that lay ahead. For Lily, this was both an ending and a beginning, a legacy built and a future full of potential. Humanity had not only found its place in the Galactic Council, but had also become a central figure in shaping the future of the galaxy, 